Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel, we've got my sheep hear my voice and know them, and they follow me. John 10 27. Yeah, so good morning. It is early morning, so I haven't put my face on or my glasses or gotten ready for work yet. Yay, me. Um, I've got today is Wednesday. Uh, last night, yesterday, I had a uh, migraine woke up with one so yeah I didn't record then uh, don't have a whole lot today um, this last weekend I spent time getting new tires for my car cleaning out where there's a mouse um, roommate and I went and filled all the holes we could find from the old dishwasher because we noticed mouse droppings underneath the cabinet and then we pulled everything out from underneath the cabinet all the pans and pots and organized that washed every dish there was um yeah that took it was a challenge but i think i saw some more mouse droppings so i'm kind of upset with the mouse but i'm gonna figure out where he's getting in and then we're gonna put some poison around um we're going to throw it up in the attic. And then I thought I smelled one in the back room where we're going to clean out put that freezer. So, yeah, it's, I don't know why they're coming in. Because, I, I guess because it's so hot or so cold or, or not so cold, uh, so dry. But, I don't know, they're really starting to get on my nerves. And when you live on acreage, we live on seven acres right now. And that is, you know, one of those things. So, uh, yeah. All right, so in the evenings, I've been working on this. There's actually two things I've been working on. And this is the purple thing here. Now I'm down to the bottom, and I want it wavy down at the bottom. So I have tried not to pull out a stitch and I dropped the yarn. Um, but I have the section with the wavy, and then I'm going to put a, a collar on it, like a big loose collar and it may look like this I don't know what stitch I'm going to use yet but I'm thinking I'm going to use this but you can see I've made it kind of wavy down there I probably have 20 more rows at least to get it to where I want I want you know uh, past my knee um, and right now it's mm, probably mid thigh so yeah but Anyway, I've been working on that one, helping get it done. And I think my goal for next year is going to be to get all these projects done that I have started that I haven't finished. Um, and that is what I'm looking at. Um, I gave away the last of my prayer shawls, so I need to build up my stash. Um, I found this. It's just Burnett baby yarn. Uh but these have enough yardage to do a shawl and so i've gotten this far on it um i've just been going kind of row by row and doing sections of a stitch <coughs> and so i've got double crochets in here i've got triple crochets i've got v stitches um this is just some chain stitch to put some wavy in it um there's no pattern to this this is just yeah this is just going to be one of those throws that you know different uh, stitches whatever I do so um, it's kind of like designing your own shawl you just kind of do it so I've been working on this and I've gotten quite far on that then this weekend I did take some time because I had to which I don't have them to show you because I already took them to the office um, I'm going to be off for a week and we have some birthdays coming up at the office, but I was making key fobs and you have to pretend this is turned. You just, I just put some interfacing on there, sew it up and then turn it right side out and then fold it in half. And I put one of these little rings on it and then a little keychain ring on it and it comes out, you know looking like this and I sew this into place 
down here. Now pretend this is turned right side out. So this into place and then I have this nicely finished and um, it's seven o'clock. I have this nicely finished and I sew across there and it's just a little, you know, wrist type key fob. So um, I made, I don't know, I think I took six or seven to the office already and I have five more to go and I just have to turn them and then do the final stitches and it, after I turn them it's literally two more stitches so um yeah and I use whatever hardware I have on hand right now I've got an abundance of these so I just put these and then I just put a little o-ring on there you know the little keychain o-ring so um but I had to have two of those because while I'm gone there's one birthday I'm, like immediately when I get back there's a birthday so I have those done and out of the way. Um, let's see. We're working on uh, the bridal shower. I'm, I think I told y'all last week about that and Macy not really going to have one because her bridesmaids aren't really stepping up. But uh, we're going to put one together, Kentucky Derby theme. I've got the, I'm going to make the cupcakes and then I'm going to, um, have someone else put roses on them. And if I have to, I'll put roses on them myself. Um, and that way it'll look, you know, and then put them in horseshoe shape. Um, and then we're doing little wraps um, and chicken salad sandwiches, little finger chicken salad sandwiches and the cupcakes. Um, so, yeah, that's, oh, and I'm doing the games. I found a little pack on uh, Amazon for, eleven dollars and so it's like what's in your purse and um just stuff so that she can have fun and say that she had a wedding shower but i have been working on that uh rj and her found a tiny house that it looks like they're going to move onto the farm and so we'll see about that uh, it's still in the works and i think it'll work good for them you know but Anyway, that really is all I've been doing. I know it's not much, but it is an update, and I just haven't gotten a chance to really work on anything else. I just really hate mice, you guys, and all the critters are coming in. So, in the washroom, um, I don't know where he came from, but I found a dead frog. Um, it's dry back there, and I'm sure he got in and got through the washer some way, you know what I mean? And then he dried out because it gets really hot back there, like hundreds of degrees. And once he got in, he couldn't get out, so I had to get rid of that. Yeah, just one thing after another. Um, found a snake the other night. Uh, roommate doesn't handle snakes very well. So had to take care of that. And then the next morning, the dogs found a snake. and It's just so dry that in the yard, they're coming to where the AC condenses because that's the only wet spot and so it's attracting lots of little creatures yeah um, the rest of it I don't know where the mice I don't know but I'm gonna put some poison up in the attic I gotta go get some of those little bait things and just throw them up in that attic part because I think that's where we think we heard one scampering and doing a dance the other night so I think if we do that, and I had an exterminator tell me once that if you throw it up in the ceiling, they only come down, you know, at night to try and find food and stuff. So I always throw it up in the ceiling and it seems to take care of them. Uh, I don't know how they're getting in. I don't know how to keep them out. <sighs> but anyway, um, I did take some time and redo some plants. I've got to get some redone at the office that I have. I have one little corner and it's starting to look like a jungle. And, um, the company that takes care of the, uh, plants for the building I work at, they're coming in and they're, they're, uh, mentally challenged people and they're, it's called a new leaf and they are going to redo some of my plants and I'm going to pay them with their own plants. So yeah, <laughs> I'm going to tone down some of them and they're going to repot a couple of them for me. I have the pot. I have the dirt. They're just going to go outside and actually do it. And 
and they like to do that kind of stuff. So they're going to do that, and then they're going to each get their own plant for doing that for me. And it keeps me from having to trek them home, and then trek them back, and then trek them home, you know. So, yeah, that works out better. But anyway, so that's really all that's going on, just normal everyday life. This is all I'm working on. Uh, I do think I'm going to set the 2025 goal of trying to get some things done that I have started, either frog them or finish them, make it one of those FF type years and go from there. Um, I'm getting stuff cleaned out and things situated around, uh, and it, it's been one of those weeks where you're just kind of like this, you know, um, RJ, of course I put my life and soul into that farm and RJ's moving his tiny house out there. I've worked, you know, all my life and I really don't have much to show for it. I live in somebody else's house. I, you know, um, and I know we always work so that our kids can do better, but I need to start thinking about my end of life. You know, when I turn 65 and retire, will I still be here? I, I don't know. I mean, I, I live in someone else's home that if anything happens to roommate, I don't know whether roommate's mom would let me continue to live here. Um, this was supposed to be temporary. I, I don't know. You know, there's just so much unknown. And so I need to get with RJ and kind of get it figured out and figure out where we're going and what we're doing. And, you know, take that into consideration when we're doing his stuff. Um, in order for him to move the tiny house onto the farm, the bank wants him, because he doesn't have the money for the tiny house, they're loaning it. The bank wants me to deed him the land. Well, it's going to be his in the end, but it's where I'm supposed to retire in my old age. So if I deed him the part that's supposed to be mine, and, you know, yeah. It's kind of a mess, and it's kind of something we just have to sort through and figure out. And, you know, it's complicated. Life is complicated, but we'll work it out. And I've had a little bit of stress there, and work's a little stressful this week. And I'm just trying to get through to my, I get 11 days off. So, yeah. Um, this coming up weekend is Labor Day weekend. So that starts my thing, and then I'm off the first week of September and Tuesday, Monday and Tuesday of the next week. So yeah, then I go back to work and I'll have to work three days. Yay! <laughs> so yeah, I'll spend three days catching up all the stuff because nobody does my stuff when I'm gone. So hey, <laughs> it is what it is. So it should make those three days go fast and I'll have another two days off, right? So, all right, I'm gonna get off here. Y'all have a great week. Say a little prayer for us that everything works out and that, you know, RJ can have, and I can have this talk about, you know, me and him and how it's all going to work out, uh, just so that I'm assured that I have a place to go if anything should happen. So anyway, say a prayer for us and God's will will be done. And I have faith in that. So, and I'm pretty sure RJ will take care of me, you know, but I don't know, you know, I, I don't see him saying, no, you can't, but oh, well, we'll see. Um, there is, of course, his new bride to be, um, to consider in all this. So, all right. I will talk to you guys later. You have a wonderful week and thanks for watching. Bye.